Lethal Fury, Red Ranger! You know, at first, I felt I'd have little to nothing to say about Casey. Beja! Yeah! Okay. Because he was just too good. Yeah. I bet those glasses make you see better! Casey to me stands out in comparison to a lot of Red Rangers in that he's fierce, both on the battlefield and to his fellow teammates. Specifically, RJ. You see, RJ? We've been wasting time. Come on, guys, let's go. Casey had a big mouth when he wanted to, but I don't necessarily think it was ever a bad thing. He can hold his thoughts in, but when checked in on, he gets very outspoken, and this hits as early as the third episode. Being someone not originally intended to be a Ranger, he has very little prior training. RJ, you gotta teach me something. I just did. Now I'm on break. Oh, no, I mean, you gotta teach me more. When RJ pushes him through trials, he gets very easily frustrated as they come off as just standard chores. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I've been getting my tiger tail kicked all over the city. When are you going to train me? He can really lash into RJ, but that's when it falls on RJ to steer him in the right direction, to help him see things differently instead of just viewing everything as having binary outcomes. You asked me to train you, and I have. How? By fixing your chair? See? By twisting and shaking the mat. And when you face off with that buffalo thing, stay low. You'll cut his power in half. His experience at the Academy affects him all throughout the series and rears its head up most again when RJ becomes the Wolf Ranger. Voila! Up to that moment, he'd taken pride in being the leader of the team, the Red Ranger, the Tiger, and although RJ had already been his master, he hadn't been his master on the battlefield to this extent. Do more training. Come on, let's go. Practice makes... Yeah. What's up with him? With RJ calling out directions for everyone, he feels as though his position has been lost. RJ, once again, steers him correctly. Someone can come in and seem like they're stealing the spotlight, but your team knows what's up, and if they trust you, they'll run with you. Everyone has moments when they get kind of unsure. You just have to trust your instincts, and your friends will trust them too. Gotta go. A very common theme throughout this entire series is RJ's amazing leadership. RJ can slip up and have his flaws here and there, but ultimately he knows what's best for the team and can see almost five steps ahead. Casey's growth also nearly causes another downfall, as he's basically able to call the shots when Dominic comes in. They should be fresh. <laughs> Despite how badly Dominic's first impression came off on everyone, Casey seemed to be the most affected. Someone new comes into the team, disrupting the flow, and Casey is the first one to really let it be known that their presence is causing a disturbance. However, this serves as a lesson to Casey in patience. Did you ever give him a chance to show you what he was really made of? Even once? After seeing Dominic save Fran later in the episode, he realizes he never gave him a proper chance utilizing his position as team leader properly and allowing Dominic to join Jungle Fury. You've got the Rhino spirit and the Ranger spirit, and I think you should join us. This is the kind of growth that I like. Could Casey do better at waiting things out and growing stronger as things change? Of course. However, I don't fault him for having those feelings, and they're not consistent enough for it to feel forced or a writing issue. It feels genuinely human. His outspoken nature is what I like most about him, because in a way, it almost reminds me of Jack. Can't forget the time in which a little kid stole tip money from the restaurant. Hey! I can almost taste the action now. You're right, son. There it is! SPD, emergency! <laughs> Casey running after and scolding him because he wanted to buy a kite with it, and then finding out that that's exactly what he did later on. Don't let them see you. Why not? Because you're a thief. You're faking a fraud. Power Rangers don't like thieves. Can't have it both ways, Josh. Either you're a good guy or a bad guy. He's just, he's just good. Casey does wonders when grouped with his teammates and shines even when alone. Just an all-around great Red Ranger. Alicia, Andrew, Austin, Autistic Disney, Brandon, Donnie, Emilia, Grim, Helen, Ian, Junior the Hedgehog, Matthew, Mia T. Toon,